Hello and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. Um, I am catching up with where I've when I've been away so I'm going to do the blanket vlog that I said I, I would because if you focus it that would be lovely. Um, so I'm just going to share, I'll put a lot of information in the um, box down below including the names of all the patterns um, and what weight they go under and whether they're knitting or crochet. Um, so I'm going to just give you the names and put pictures up because otherwise it'll be really long and sometimes it's nice just to look at the pictures and see whether you like something yourself. Um, so under the fingering weight category so we have Ponsettia by Anakin Alice and that's a knitting one and it's squares that you can join together. Then we have Harlequilt by MC Jablonski, which is also knitting, which is making diamonds. It looks like garter stitch diamonds joined together, which is lovely. We have the Incredible Blanket by Pearl Soho, which I looked up a minute ago and I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it's a knitting one. I will put pictures as I said. I have In the Clouds Blanket by Jessica w Wiffle. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name or not. And it's a crochet one. Um, we have the Sweet Shop Blanket, which is by Laura Penrose. It's a knitting one and it's four ply held double. So it's DK weight suitable as well. Um, it would be a good one for scraps as well, because you don't need a huge quantity to do one triangle, I don't think. Um, then we have the Flower Power Fund blanket, which is a knitting one, ideal for scraps. It's by Jackie Goldburn. It's um, adaptable, depending, so you can use up any amount of scrap. So you could have a lot. It's kind of done in sections, as far as I know. The money goes to the, the Marie Curie charity. And yeah, you, it's ideal for using up leftovers. We have Scrap Witchery, which is another good scrappy project one um, by Lindsay Shank. Kirchner. It's a knitting pattern and again fingering held double so it would be suitable for DK. Um, it looks like a lovely cosy kind of thick blanket, just what you need for snuggling under. We have Fade Into Christmas by Yarnia Designs so that's a crochet one um, and it's suitable for advent um, calendars as well which is great. We have the Triangulum Blanket by Ellie Jones which is a knitted one. And Ellie's lovely, so it's always nice to be able to support her in some way. We have the Jelly Roll Blanket by Kay Jones, which is a knitted one. So it's one that you knit stri um, stripes or strips of and then you're joining as you go. So you don't have to do all the seaming up at the end, which some people like. I prefer to work on things individually and then join it at the end because that's just what suits me. Um, but I think it looks lovely. It looks like a really nice blanket. We have Joy Garden by... I'm not sure if it's Rachel or Rochelle Carmona, um, which is a crochet one. We have the Jigsaw Puzzle Blanket by Stephen West, which is a knitting one, but another one that's four ply held double, so it was suitable for DK. Um, we have the Alignment Blanket, which is suitable for fingering or double knitting weight by, M just said Margaret on Ravelry, so I'm not sure. Um, and it's a knitted blanket. We have the Go Go Throw by Am. Amber O'Brien, which is a knitted one. We have the Radvent Throw by Amber O'Brien as well, which is knitted and suitable for Advent calendars. We have Battenberg, which is perfect for scraps. It is a lovely one to do, Crochet by Sandra Paul. The only thing is that if you use a main colour, you get pretty fed up of crocheting those squares. I the It's great fun doing the colourful ones, the plain ones get a bit boring after a while. So if you can be disciplined, you can work it well. If you're like me and get a bit carried away, you get you, you kind of lose your enthusiasm pretty quickly. Um, we have Anthology by Helen Stewart, which is a knitting one, um, also suitable for advent calendars. We have the Beekeeper's Quilt, which I think would be suitable for scraps. Looks gorgeous, but I've heard a lot of people say it's a bit like the Battenberg and you get fed up making them after a while. It's, in, it's nice to make them, but the actual joining and the um, stuffing of them and everything, stitching them up gets a bit tedious. So I think they're nice for cushions, but perfect for blankets if you're enthusiastic. So that one's by Tiny Owl Knits. 
Then we have Melting Marl by Stephen West, which is a knitting pattern suitable for four ply held double, so DK as well. Um, the Burrow Blanket by Kay Jones, which looks super cosy. It's four ply held triple, so it's bulky weight, and it's a knitted one. We have Stitch and Time by Kay Jones, Quadrophenia, and the Bits and Bobs Blankets, all by Kay Jones, and they're all knitted. The Bits and Bobs one looks like a fisherman's rib, which looks lovely and cosy as well. And then there's Cosy Memories or the Coziest Memory Blanket. Basically any sort of mitered square blanket. Um, but the Cosy Memories one is by Shelley Dupont and it's a knitted one. So that's all the four ply ones. Then the DK ones that I picked out, there were loads of patterns, but these ones were the ones that kind of stood out. Then the DK ones that I picked out, there were loads of patterns, but these ones were the ones that kind of stood out. I might go through another time and see if anything else stands out, but right now, now these are the ones. So there was Secrets of the Sook by Mark Rosboom. I think that's what I've written down. I'm not sure if that is right, because sometimes the autocorrect changes things, unfortunately. And I thought it was slightly different than that. But anyway, Secrets of the Sook, and it's a crochet pattern. I thought it looked gorgeous. There's the Pinwheel Blanket by Heartstring Patterns, which is also a crochet one. Starflower Blanket by Tin Can Knits. Now their patterns are always fantastic, so I'm sure that one would be a lovely one to do. They also have the Bounce Blanket, which can be done as a kid's blanket or bigger. I'm sure it's adaptable. You just need to work out sort of how many, you know, repeats. Um, so they're both knitted, the Tin Can Knits ones. Then there's Colour Squish by Emily Kurtz, which is a knitted one. There's Scandi Blankets by Abby McIntyre, which is a crochet one, I thought it looked fun. There's Vivid Blanket by Tin Can Knits, obviously another knitting one, and it's suitable for any gauge or weight of yarn, which is lovely. I like when they're kind of adaptable. Um, there's the Stargazer Blanket by Emma Varnum, and it's a crochet one. Then there's Moon Shadow Temperature Blanket by Amy Minard, Minard, I'm not sure, which is a crochet one. And then there's Mystical Lanterns by Janie Crow, which is a crochet one. It's lovely. I've done it, some of them before I actually made, um, started making a blanket and then got distracted, as you can imagine. But it's a lovely one to do. Great fun. And would be quite good for using up bits and pieces that you've got, I'm sure. You could also make a lovely scarf with it, to be honest, if you just made a few rows of them and added some tassels or something. I think that'd be lovely. And then, of course, I couldn't do a blanket one without mentioning Lucy from Attic24 because she is one of the reasons that I am doing what I do because she inspired me to get back into crafting. Years ago, I started following her blog and I absolutely love her and her colours and everything. And even though I don't get much time to look at her blog and things nowadays, she's one of my favourites and always has been. So I've done her granny stripe and I've done her neat ripple and they're fantastic patterns and I'm sure all the other blanket ones are lovely too. She's always inspirational um, and she just, she's just a lovely person. She's always been wonderful in her presence online so I had to mention her. Um, if you have any blanket patterns that I haven't mentioned and you love, please let me know below because it's always nice to find more patterns and suggest things. Um, I have a couple that have blankets that I'm working on which I am hoping to write up just simple crochet square ones that are joined in different ways but when the time comes I will put them online as well um and I think that's it for just now I have to go and pick up my daughter from football so that's why it probably feels kind of rushed but at the same time I just want the time to get it done so that another day doesn't slip by and yeah I don't get it shared so any suggestions please let me know below knitted, crocheted, four ply, DK, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just always lovely to get ideas. And in the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.